in today's video we are going to be talking about what it is like to study at King's College London, one of the UK's most prestigious universities. This video is part of FutureDoc's University Profile series where we look at some of the UK's top universities to help you make informed decisions about where to apply. So make sure to check out this video here on how to choose the best medical school for you. So why study at King's College London? When it comes to pursuing medicine, choosing the right university is crucial. Established in 1829 by King George IV and the Duke of Wellington, King's College London is England's third oldest university. It is a high-ranking institute with over 27,000 students and five campuses in central London. At King's College London, you will benefit from a wealth of opportunities and a renowned reputation in the medical field. With state-of-the-art facilities, an expert faculty and a vibrant learning environment, King's College offers an unparalleled experience for future doctors. So let's have a look at the medical course. King's College London provides both undergraduate and graduate entry medical programs. The undergraduate program is a five-year Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery degree, while the graduate entry program is a four-year accelerated course for those who already hold a relevant bachelor's degree. Partner hospitals include Guy's, King's College and St. Thomas Hospital, three of the most renowned and busiest teaching hospitals in London. King's College London also has affiliated training with Maudsley Hospital, the oldest psychiatric institution in the world and Europe's leading psychiatric institution. Students will also benefit from clinical placements at district general hospitals located across the southeast of England and over 350 general practices. Let's talk about student opinions. Students commend the teaching in medicine at King's College London. They have lots of teaching opportunities, such as the Chantless Sales Center, where students are able to practice clinical skills, such as taking histories and carrying out practice consultations with patient actors, all from the first year of their course. This means that students are very clinically competent. Overall, the student satisfaction rate is impressive with an average of 76%. In the Complete University Guide Medicine League table, King's takes 18th position with an overall score of 96%. Now let's look at some relevant statistics which highlight the quality of the medicine programme at King's. King's College London is a Russell Group University and in the top 20 courses for studying medicine in the UK. Research quality also scores a high 97% and graduate prospects 99%. For home students, tuition fees for undergraduates and graduates are around £9,250 per year. International students can expect to pay around £45,420 per year, but it is always recommended to check out the official King's College website for the most up-to-date information on tuition and funding options. Now let's take a look at the application requirements. The requirements for both undergraduate and graduate entry medicine are rigorous but are also achievable. Required A-level grades are A star AA and must include a grade A in biology and chemistry. All applicants are required to sit the UCAT exam before applying to this program. The UCAT must be taken on the same year as the application in order for it to be valid. King's does not have a threshold UCAT score in any particular year. The personal statement is one of the many factors in the overall assessment of your application. King's College is looking particularly for evidence of appropriate commitment to and a realistic understanding of the physical academic and emotional demands of a career in medicine. For work experience, they will normally expect you to have taken some sort of work experience in a caring environment and or observation in a clinical setting. If this is not possible, they may also look for evidence that you have worked with the general public, such as at a pharmacy or at a restaurant. 
No offers are made without an interview. Interviews are normally held between November and May and you must be available to interview in order to be considered for admission. During the interview, they will be assessing your communication skills, exploring general social and ethical issues, and assessing your general suitability for the program and for a career in medicine, as well as how you will contribute to the university as a whole. Let's now talk about teaching style. King's College London takes a student-centered approach to medical education. The teaching style combines lectures, small group teaching, clinical placements, and practical workshop. King's College London also offers full body dissection to teach anatomy. This ensures a dynamic and interactive learning experience that fosters critical thinking and practical skills. Let's now dive into the structure of the medical course at King's. The curriculum is designed to gradually build your clinical knowledge and skills with early clinical exposure to enhance your practical abilities. The course is divided into three stages with an optional intercalated year between stage two and three. Although they offer four entry routes into medicine, all students have the same MBBS curriculum. Stage one provides you with a foundation in biomedical and population sciences, along with the skills to begin to integrate them into clinical practice. Stage two brings together science and clinical practice in blocks organized around the human life cycle and common pathological processes. It focuses on the care of patients with common conditions in a clinical setting. Students will also follow patients over a prolonged period of time to learn how to deliver whole person care. This stage is underpinned by study of biomedical sciences and population sciences. Stage three is oriented towards future practice and includes the opportunity to undertake elective study abroad. You will also conduct quality improvement projects and develop skills to transform patient and population health at home and abroad. Interprofessional training and increasingly realistic simulation are important parts of the curriculum. The intercalated degree is a one-year bachelor's, which gives you the opportunity to study a subject of your choice in greater depth at King's. The intercalated bachelor's is an optional requirement on the A100 programme and is taken between year three and year four. Beyond academics, King's College London offers a vibrant campus life in the heart of one of the world's most vibrant cities. The main campus for King's College is Guy's Campus, which is located a few minutes walk from the Shard and London Bridge. King's central location means that there are plenty of opportunities for a night out and a never-ending opportunity of eateries and restaurants with Borough Market being just a five minute walk from Guy's campus. Now let's look at accommodation. Over 5,500 undergraduate and postgraduate students join King's residences each year. Their central London residences are close to campus and come with an accommodation guarantee for all first year undergraduates and all postgraduate. For medical students, Great Dover Street is one of the most popular accommodation options as it is very close to Guy's campus. The Waterloo campus is halfway between Guy's and St. Thomas, which is again, very close by. For hospital placements, students can either be placed at Guy's, St. Thomas's, King's College Hospital or Lewisham Hospital. King's College London is a fantastic institute to study medicine. Remember to visit their official website for the most up-to-date information and application guidelines. And if you think that King's College is your dream university and you would like some extra support figuring out how to apply, check out FutureDoc's one-on-one -on -one coaching program where we consistently achieve over 90% in getting students into their dream university. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and leave any questions or comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.